Google activate shutdown sequence. Now you may recall that previously I dabbled with setting up a Google Assistant routine for this purpose. Today we are revisiting it, not just because you asked for it, but also because there are a few minor differences when it comes to configuring it with the new version of Google Assistant. So first of all, let's just go through the push to run and push bullet setup. All the necessary links will be in the description down below. Let's head over to the push to run website and download the latest version. After a few clicks, you can launch the program, but just leave it as it is for the moment. We can also download the push bullet app for our Windows system. After installing these two programs, we will need to establish a connection between them by using the access token from our PushBullet account. To find this, simply log into your account through the browser, go to the settings and navigate to the access token section. Copy the access token and paste it into your push to run program. Don't forget to enable PushBullet by ticking this box. Now that we have completed that step, let's set up the shutdown action routine. Click on the action tab, then add. When inputting the details, make sure to put the same as I do. Use shutdown for the description, listen for and the open field. And for the parameter, enter forward slash s space forward slash t space zero. This command will initiate the PC shutdown process. Once that's done, we just need to turn it on and head over to the next step, which is logging into your IFTTT website and creating a new applet. By the way, make sure that you are logged into your same Google account on both your Google Assistant and IFTTT and also that your IFTTT is actually linked to your Google account. You can do this by going into your Google Home app and tapping on the setting tabs, then add device and then works with Google. Here you can search for the IFTTT and then just quickly go through the linking setup. Now this is where it gets a little bit different from the previous setup due to Google's introduction of their new Google Assistant version, version 2. When executing the shutdown sequence, we now need to include the phrase activate before the scene name. It makes the triggering phrase slightly longer, but it's not the end of the world, right? You are in luck because I have a small trick that you can use to avoid the phrase activate. But before that, once the trigger is created, search for the push bullet service, select push a note and replace the title with push to run followed by your computer name. You can find your computer name in the properties of your PC. As a side note, you might need to use an underscore between push to run and your computer name. I'm not entirely sure why, but I faced some issues previously, so it's worth a try if you encounter any issues. Lastly, for the message, enter shutdown, which is what push to run will listen for. With a few more clicks, we have successfully created a new applet. Now let's put it to the test. Turn off the PC. Now let's talk about that trick that I mentioned earlier. If you prefer not to say the phrase activate, there is a simple way to avoid it by setting up a custom routine in the Google Home app. To do this, open the Google Home app, go to the automation, select add, choose household, and then enter your preferred trigger phrase. In my case, I've used the same sentences, but I worded it differently. After that, add an action by adding your own and typing in the specific trigger from IFTTT. Again, in my case, it was activate followed by the name of my PC. This routine will then respond to any word or phrase you have chosen. You can just simply personalize the trigger phrase to your liking and make it work seamlessly with your setup. And that's how you can power down your PC using your voice. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this video serves as an updated version, but we will probably have to revisit this topic in the future as technology is always evolving. In the meantime, I have also updated another video where I demonstrate how you can use your voice to turn on your PC. And if you wanna check that, you can just click here.